Hello guys, welcome to Sunny Bermuda. Today we're going to do a soil test. Next step in any yard renovation, check your soil. Make sure it's full of minerals and other good stuff that your grass needs to grow. There's a nice package here. I know there's a little controversy between soil savvy and uh, my soil. I think they broke apart maybe started a separate business or you know some type of division went on not sure but similar product similar packaging I believe from what I've seen on the internet we're, we're gonna take a look at soil savvy I bought it in January of this year back before the split supposedly happened because there was a slight delay in getting my results but as we open up the package we see contents of it it's a nice plastic scooper it comes in a Mailing label already self-addressed. Postage paid. There's a little canister here with the, uh, it's got water in it and also a capsule. I, bl I believe that's a, some type of vial. Keeps your soil in a certain chemical state so that when it gets to the lab, they can properly test it and all that good stuff. Also, there's some markings on it. You can mark location of the where you got the dirt. There's also some barcodes, and I'll show later where you can split the barcode off, tear off one copy and put on your little return card, which is right here. Garden like a pro in three easy steps. Step one, collect your dirt, mail it in, and receive your results. It says receive your results in seven to ten days on our website. Currently their website, My Soil Savvy, is down or not functioning properly, but they do email you the results. I received my results and I think it was 14, 14 days or maybe been 17 days. It is a little later but they did apologize for the delay in getting me my soil results and sent me a 50% off coupon on my next one. But for now let's go jump into the yard and get our hands a little bit dirty. Two, three, four, four inches. Get a clean bucket. Dig up some dirt here. Oh, go down about four inches. Look at that red clay. You don't want any roots or grass, just this fresh dirt. Oh, fill it back in. All these weeds. Ooh. Get down about sandier down here. Another good spot. Whew. It's nothing but weeds back here. Look, this dirt is, is so compact. It's black on top and green mold. 
Look at it. Let's see what it looks like underneath. Okay, hope that was fun with for you guys. We're back in the garage now. Well, let's uh, get our little jar ready. As I said earlier, let's take the second piece of the barcode and we'll put that on our card that was supplied. Fill in the, the date and also copy off the, it comes with a like I said earlier, a prepaid envelope that also has a tracking number on it. So we'll make a copy of the tracking number. That way we can keep track of it as it makes its way toward Walla Walla, Washington. Also put our date on it. That way we know when we mailed it. If you hear the noise in the background, that's my two sons over there working out in the gym. I have two teenage boys. 17 and 15 they're monsters they're over there i got a rather large gym in the garage there you go you can see the usps tracking number there sent to walla walla unibest internationals i guess is the parent company of the soil savvy set my card aside for my records It also has a card you you want to include this card in the mailer it will have your mailing address on it most importantly probably the most important thing is your email address for that's how you will get your soil results got me some dry dirt i left it in there for yeah kind of hold it way up here I, uh, Probably a couple of days before we'll dry up. That way I can shake it around, mix it up real good. Had my son hold my <laughs> camera while I shook it up good. And there you can see the little module in the water. Take your scooper. Scoop you out a A level scoop of dirt. sure you don't spill that water with the little module in it. Pour the dirt in carefully and cover it up. Make sure you cover it up tight so it doesn't leak on its way to Washington. There we go. We are done. The only thing left, put our card in the envelope. All of our information on it and include this oil sample. Double check, make sure it's tight. Oh, forgot to mark the side. Little place you put, yes, it was in my yard. I think, I forget what the other two check boxes are for, maybe garden or something. Also put the date on it.
don't know about you guys. I hear all that clanging in the background. I'm ready to get pumped, go there and work out. Do me a few sets of bench presses. Huh. Pull off the sticky label. Close it up. There we go. Grab it. Let's walk out to the mailbox. Drop it in the mail. Let's, we'll go over the results in a bit. Wow, there's my results. It took, I went back and looked, it took about 11 days. I shipped it out on February the 17th and I received the results uh, February the 28th. So I wasn't too bad. If you look at my, I was really shocked at the results. My pH, I have a separate pH reader, and it read it read, it read per perfectly. But this showing it's a little low, showing my nitrogen is within the target area, but it's a little high. And the pK, as you know, is um, phosphorus and potassium, and the, and the phosphorus you know plays a vital role in plant reproduction, as well as early root growth and development. And that's really low. So I'm going to try and pick that up. Also the potassium. It plays a key role in a vast array of physical processes vital for plant growth. From protein synthesis to, main to maintenance of plant water. You know, elements. There's uh, macronutrients and micronutrients. And it's listed on the back of the analysis report. All the key soil components and roles in plant health. But anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed this little video about and really learn how easy it was to test your soil. Basically just purchase a kit, doesn't matter which one. Collect your dirt, put it in this little package and mail it off. Really simple. All right, guys, enjoy.